What was the moment you realized that you shouldn't have showed up to a date? An alleged friend told me her co-worker and I would be great together and wanted to do a double date at a festival with her and her husband. Date suggested he and I meet up the night before to get to know each other and I suggested a gaming bar I'd wanted to try. Date time arrives and he's not there. He finally shows up and tells me he had to stop home to let the dogs out so they don't crap all over the floor. He then proceeds to show me a picture of a floor covered in dog crap and says guess it didn't work. He is still wearing his work clothes. It has been 3 hours since work ended and he went home to deal with the dogs but didn't change. He proceeds to eat the rest of the charcuterie plate I ordered by himself and then orders wings for himself. We decide to check out a game since I have now paid for more game time. He wants a more madness game that is not designed for 2 people. We settle on a playable game. It's not great. As we are wrapping up he tells me the last date he took here flicked him in the parking lot he stares at me expertly. I tell him that's not going to happen. I tell my friend I'm skipping the festival. He's shocked and thought we had a spark. The part where he said we had a spark made me cringe the rest was funny. My mom met a nice girl during the day, unknown to me. My mom and I were supposed to go out for dinner that night. She invites the girl unknown to me, then ditches the dinner once she knows she has set me up on a date. My mom was very worried I was gay at the time. The girl and I get to chatting over drinks. She's fun, flirty, cute, and a M addicted prostitute who thought it was some weird kink game that she was being hired to get into the middle of. So, yay. She was understanding when we realized the mix up, but I gave my mom crap for that one for years. Oh, yeah, she shouldn't ever live that down. Hey, ma, you forgot my birthday this year. At least IT isn't as bad as the time you set Emmy up with AMW, though. When she told me my English accent was dumb, and then repeatedly shouted out that everyone else in the bar had a dumb English accent. For your information, it was a bar in England. I went on a date a few months after me and my college GF had broken up. I had matched with this girl off of Tinder and we messaged a bit. But she was relentless about wanting to know more about my ex and how I felt after the breakup. I looked past this and met her for dinner a couple nights later. I walked in the restaurant and my ex is sitting at the table under that girl's name. I turned around to walk out and got a Tinder notification from the girl I had agreed to meet you'll never be able to get away from me. Should have stayed home that night and steer clear of blind dates. I was supposed to pick him up at his airbnb so we could go out for dinner and drinks. Turns out the airbnb was actually his parents house. I thought it was weird that he lied about where he was staying but figured he was just embarrassed so I didn't make a big deal about it. When I suggested a place I wanted to go for dinner he told me his parents made dinner so he wanted to stay there to eat and go out for drinks after. I felt super awkward about having dinner with his family on our first date, but it got worse. He made me a plate of food, and had me sit at a table in the garage, and told me he'd be right back. Then he went inside and had dinner with his whole family while I sat alone in the garage. I wish I could say I noped out of there, but unfortunately I stuck it out for the worst date night of my life. When he said he was actually from an entirely different state, looked completely different from his photos and then asked if he could borrow $400 for methadone before we even ordered. I left immediately. Been stalking me for over 10 years. Fun times. The old methadone and bone play. She was a kleptomaniac. Thought she was exaggerating or maybe just went through a tough time. Then she showed me the pile of legal paperwork. She was on first name terms with the judge she had been to court so many times. Then she asked me to touch her back. Said she felt super sweaty from the MCAT she'd taken and then showed me how she disposed of her used needles because she was a rage addict. Should have noped out sooner but she was sweet but yeah, she needed a the piss not her boyfriend. My dumb butt is like well at least she's trying to make her way to med school. I went to his house to play magic after meeting him at my LGS a couple times, excused myself to pee and as I was peeing, he stood outside of the bathroom door and did an awful impression of the joker laugh while saying he's been waiting for someone like me and other extremely creepy phrases about how I am perfect for him. The post peeing bathroom exit was so absolutely awkward, riddled with me saying several different versions of oh wow. That was a great joker impression haha and him continuing to speak like the joker. It was the longest, most tense, 
fearful walk down the stairs. I left shortly after that. It still tortures me. When he didn't let me look at a menu, ordered for me, a water and a kid's chicken tender meal I'm 24, ate half my meal, and was talking so much about himself he spit pieces of chicken it on me. Had a great time at dinner, and went for a walk through a park afterwards. We're walking along and talking and she mentions to me that she is still technically engaged to a guy, but she was only marrying him because he had gotten her pregnant, but she had had a miscarriage a few days ago, had not told him yet, and now that there was no baby and she had met me she was going to tell him and break up with him, there was no second date. It's nice when they put all the red flags out for your inspection, saves time. He was picking me up and texted me here a little early so he had plenty of time to do this before I got down at his car, but he waited till I opened the door and there was about a dozen magazines, like rifle mags, on the passenger's seat and he said hope you're not some crazy liberal don't mind these mags and then brushed them onto the floor. It was super awkward cringy. Also it was my first date since I rough breakup and the rest of it was just as bad if not worse. I ended up crying in the bathroom halfway through crying in the bathroom halfway through. Sounds like something a crazy liberal would do s. When she told me she recently celebrated 100 days of being sober and then suggested we buy some coke, she told me not to worry about it because she had done it a few times since celebrating those 100 days. If she did it at night it doesn't count. Meet a girl at a bar and things clicked well. Went on a date a few nights later and she shows up with her sister. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Figured she was being safe possibly since we just met. But this happened two more times. I finally said can we go out without your sister and she seemed insulted at the idea. Found out months later she had no sister. It was just her friend and they did everything together. Was truly strange. About 15 years ago I was flying kites at Newport Beach with my wife. And there was a guy there strolling the beach holding hands with twins. And he was wearing a t-shirt with stick figure drawings of a guy and two girls, with the caption I twins. Sometimes I think about them and wonder if they're still together. 10 minutes in and he was checking out the two women at the table next to us. Like hardcore staring peeking around the booth wall until they looked at him uncomfortably lol. Uh, what the heck is wrong with some people? Lmeo. When he read me poetry he wrote about his ex and showed me his Viagra stash. When he went on a long and obnoxious rant about how my job at the time, assistant welder, was stupid and a waste of time and that I should become a dental hygienist, a job I have no interest in, because at least it has a future, the whole date itself was awful, but it was at that point I realized, we were not a match to say the least. When he walked into the cafe we were meeting at with a 4L jug of water, plopped it on the counter, and told the barista to use his special filtered water for the tea he was ordering. Turned out he sells these water purification machines that optimize the pH, which he insisted was not a pyramid scheme. It definitely was. After enduring his awful sales pitch, he also told me he used to be a drug dealer and that he turned to selling water because he is addicted to selling. He also told me how he had extremely old fashioned values, his words, and that he is a very controlling person and can't help it. He said he hates when people waste his time and is looking for a wife. Every time I tried talking about anything, he would cut me off and start talking about himself. He offered me a ride home at the end. I politely declined and ran the second I was no longer in line of sight. Reading all these stories of women sitting through these shameless degenerates is saddening. That said, the thing I love most about changing the pH of water is that your stomach acidifies it instantly. It's literally completely pointless lol. Within 5 minutes of meeting at the restaurant she told me she, 1, had been engaged twice, we were both 23 at the time, and, 2, that she was in a lot of debt, like, thanks for telling me I guess but the date only got worse from there. That time when I walked into the restaurant where I was meeting that doctor I met online, and he was there wearing a white lab coat, to dinner, our first, and last, date. Yes, hello, it is I, medical doctor date guy, you can tell by the doctor coat I am wearing. Was using a dating app and this woman had messaged me first and we had a few great conversations. She was listed at 35. She suggested that we meet up, have a meal and then see where things go. 
I show up to her place to pick her up and as I am waiting a 65 year old woman approaches my car. She introduces herself and I ask her how old she is and she says 35. I ask to see her id. She declines and she insists we go get a meal. I politely tell her that the start of any friendship or relationship needs honesty and I would kindly like to know her age as it is obvious she is not 35. Keep saying she's 35. As we are driving, I am going in circles. Under the pretext of going to a restaurant, I ask about her life and she gets interrupted by a phone call she must take as it is from work. She asks for me to pull over to let her talk. I do. She doesn't exit the vehicle. I was very close to leaving on the side of the street. She works as phone psychic. And I sit there listening to her faking it to a lady who sounds like she is in need of help. Explaining they pay $9.99 the first minute of which she makes $5 and $2 every minute of which she makes one. After her call ends she says easy $12. So, I resume driving. Now headed back to her place which she doesn't realize. And I continue asking her about herself she drops that she has a son that's 31. I break as I start laughing and say so you gave birth at 4 she starts mumbling about how she misspoke but I pulled up in front of her building and politely asked her to exit the vehicle as dishonesty is a deal breaker. Before our first ever date, which he told me he wanted to plan, I told him I had been vegetarian for a few years now and as long as where we went had vegetarian options, I didn't mind where it was. He brought me to a steakhouse. Said he'd forgotten I'd said that. I ended up just having fries the whole night. Points to him. He did seem like he had actually forgotten and the conversation was good so I agreed to a second date. Now, I had also told him I was caffeine intolerant. Couldn't have any coffee, coke, most teas etc. And where did we go? To the university coffee stand. I left to go to my archaeology class and my desk buddy tells me we are getting a new tutor because our first one got sick and couldn't see the rest of the semester through. Guess who our new tutor was? Mr. Steakhouse and coffee stand guy. I maintain to this day that it was worth it all just for the look on his face when he walked into class. I wish I was making this crap up. She happily talked about herself but never showed the slightest interest in me. Yet she was very excited when I asked her out. A few days later my friend told me she had been talking crap about me. When he told me he had been married and divorced, a sniper, and a trucking company owner. Not a single thing was true, which was good, bad, I ran. When she tried to get me in a fight with a stranger. I think she knew the guy. Long story but I think what she did was an attempt to get him to assault me. She was nuts. When he asked me out and I said yes. He then asked if I'd like to go to dinner and what kind of food I liked. I said anything but sushi. He took me to a sushi place. Said he thought he'd be able to change my mind. Oh god. Personally love sushi. But you don't try to convince someone about sushi on the first date. My mum set me up with a nice boy. I found out 30 minutes into the date he was not long out of prison for armed robbery, assault with a dangerous weapon and housebreaking. Turns out she didn't know him that well at all. My mom gave a guy my email because he had cute eyes. He ended up telling me his occupation had a high divorce rate, and his uncle ate a piece of bark a kid gave him. He took me on a surprise date to watch him skateboard. Yay. Watched him eat crap for 2 hours then he pouted dropping me off BC he didn't nail the move. See that's worse because that had the potential to be fun. Like teach you a few easy moves and make it a fun thing. I mean like, guiding someone as they try to skate the first few feet is a perfect opportunity to introduce physical closeness without being weird. And it could be a fun memory. Instead he made it all about him. Such a shame. She brought her ex-boyfriend to see if he approved. After he said that, they asked for a three-way. This was not ever mentioned before the date. I was under the impression we were meeting one-on-one. -on -one. I don't think that's an ex-boyfriend. Drove 50 minutes to her small town to watch a movie. Turns out she meant at her place. And it was a sequel to a trilogy I had never started. She was pretty awkward which was fine but then she started really oversharing saying she was a crack baby. And telling me all her trauma. That was the point I knew it was a mistake considering she had fibbed her way into the date. By the end of the night she was telling me she loved me. I left shortly after that and I let her down over text once I was home. 
Cherry on top she got pregnant 3 months later from her boyfriend of 5 months. I picked her up and she said let's hurry up and go. My husband will be back soon. Don't worry we're getting divorced but he won't want to see me on a date. That's a big press x to doubt moment. When he took my sandals off in a public restaurant and sniffed them under the table, I went to the bathroom and waited for a chance to leave. I'm not sure what was the exact moment I realized I shouldn't have showed up but I think it was at some point during the first 10 minutes. She showed up 30 minutes late and her apology was sorry I'm late but I'm always late. Then she spent the first 15 minutes talking about her ex who she just broke up with 3 days ago. During the entire date, she asked 0 questions about me and only talked about herself and her problems. Gossiped about her friends, who I didn't even know at all. Spent 20 minutes showing me photos and videos of her cat. I usually like cats but I was really annoyed at that point complained about the ice in her soda, and spent the last 10 minutes of the day talking about how much she needs to pee but refused to use the public restroom. I was so glad when that date was over. Ugh you had me at the I'm always late excuse. A. That's a pathetic excuse. B. When I was still dating, I remember always being excited nervous and showing up early. Usually my dates were the same way. It was always so cute. Sucks you didn't get that experience this time. While perusing the menu he asked what I was going to get. I said um, I'm thinking about and he cut me off to say they don't have um here. I chuckled and continued so I think I'll have the uh chicken. He responded seriously with a raised voice they don't have uh chicken here either and shook his head like I was annoying. I just stared at him for a minute. He about to not have a second date. What a tool. I waited on the park bench next to a girl for about 30 minutes after the agreed upon time. Turns out I was sitting next to my date the entire time. I just didn't recognize her because she was at least 200 pounds bigger than any of her pictures with no similarities. Turns out her much more attractive friend was trying to help her out by making a tinder profile, using her own pictures, doing the matching and flirting, and then letting her less attractive friend actually do the meetings. Dating is freaking nuts. He said he didn't like hair in a bun or choker necklaces. I happened to have my hair in a bun and was wearing a choker at the time. My brother once had a date and the woman spent the first 15 minutes talking about how unattractive bald guys are. My brother is bald. The worst part is they met over Tinder. He is bald on all of his Tinder pics. There wasn't one old pic of him with hair on his profile. When I waited at the restaurant longer than I like to admit, I called him asking if he was on his way and he said yes. When he finally showed up, he told me he had just gotten to the gym when I called. It was just a bad night. A guy asked me out to lunch. I dressed cute that day. On my lunch break, I met him at his place of employment. We went to the filthy break room storeroom where instructed me to sit on an upside down bucket. He began to prepare a packet of cheesy pasta in the microwave. He served me this tepid glop in a styrofoam bowl. Then he spent the entire time talking about his ex-girlfriend, who looked like renaissance goddess and wrote amazing poetry. Several years later, I became friends with this woman and told her about this lunch date and she was mortified. I have so many follow up questions about how you met this renaissance woman and if he acted this way with her as well. I dated this girl who was a friend of a friend. She used to come into the pub I worked at for $10 steak night with her mum and a guy who we weren't sure if was her boyfriend or brother. Turned out it was her brother, but they were weirdly close. Anyway, we went on a date, she seemed quite uncomfortable the whole time. Didn't make much conversation, just obviously wasn't into it, so I dropped her home, and she asked me if I wanted to come in. Against my better judgement I did. They had two couches in the living room. I sat on one awkwardly, while she laid on the other couch and spooned with her brother. At this point I realized I should not have shown up. Every time she left the pub from then on in her and her brother left holding hands. When four other guys arrived and we all received a text message at the same time laughing at us for thinking anyone would ever love us. Whoa. I mean, some of the stories on this thread are pretty whack, but that is just so pointlessly mean. Man, people are out there just being such deliberate buttholes. I'm sorry. I met this guy on Tinder. He seemed really cool. 
We started texting for a month or so and later planned to meet at this tavern. It was hard trying to find him because the place was packed. When I do see him, I guess he's drunk. LOL but he didn't seem like completely out of it, he was functional. I tried to ask him questions and get to know him in this sort of loud and busy space and the whole time, even though he's inches away from my face he can't hear what I'm asking or saying. Mind you, he invited me to this place, I'd never gone here before. This was supposed to be our first date. He proceeds to buy me a beer and kept slapping me on my backside. Quite forcefully to be honest, this is my first time meeting him. We get a beer and he asks me do you want a drink I tell him he just bought me one. He asks this question annoyingly over and over again as if he forgot he asks. This goes on for at least an hour. All the while I'm trying to kick it with him. Play some outdoor bar games and such. And he's asking what are you doing here and I'm like I'm on a date with you lol. He asks me this question over and over as well. I don't get how anyone is that incoherent. He wasn't that drunk. He couldn't have been. Even if he was, when we texted he seemed fairly intelligible and kind. But the whole night he probably only asked me 2-3 questions, the same ones, over and over, and kept slapping me on my backside. There was a point we were going to congregate with his friends and I sort of lost him in the crowd and left. Very rude and weird. He had the nerve to call me, and asked where I went. I told him I went home. He said he wanted to get to know me, and I was like yeah maybe another time. Like dude you had the whole night to try. He had no intent to make a real effort. I blocked the frick out of him. You went on a date with an NPC. When he told me he was drinking across town in another bar doing shots and would be where I was ASAP. He was driving himself. I showed up and her best friend was there that I hadn't been warned was coming with us. Then her brother showed up. Then her dad showed up. Then her mom and her three cousins age 3-5 showed up. That was the point I excused myself to bathroom. Thankfully this is one of those places where the employees will sneak you out if you're having a bad day to need an out. And apparently I'm the first guy they snuck out at that point. This is the kind of car crash date that I really want even more details on. When she asked if we could stop at her mom's house first so she could grab something then after 10 minutes of waiting in the car she came running out of the door carrying a baby and a woman was chasing her screaming. She jumped in the car and started yelling drive 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 I turned the car off and got out. When I went on this date with this dude and he had zero interests. When I tell you zero I mean it. He didn't watch movies, series, did not listen to music. Did not watch TV, didn't have any hobbies, did not have any siblings, any friends, any work, just university studies. He didn't like to cook or clean or even go on walks. It was the most awkward date I have ever been with someone. I am a human with human interests like adding information into myself and completing courses in the education system. A guy walked into the bar and she stared at him for a few seconds and said he has an 8 inch dong. I can't remember his name though. After date while I was returning home, he constantly asked me how did he look during the date via text. I said he looked cute and had to repeat myself over and over. So I asked him back how did I look. He replied okay but how did you like my t-shirt? It was new for your information. For some reason red flags flew even from that simple weird texts. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.